Okay, what we want to cover today is how to create a feed burner RSS feed. Uh, first thing you want to go is go to feedburner.google.com. And if you don't have a, a Google account, you'll want to set up a Google account and email account with that. Okay, it's a service provided by Google. Basically, what FeedBurner is, is is pretty much an RSS feed on steroids, and it's very, very important to getting traffic to your websites. Now, once you've logged into your FeedBurner, I just see I have a few of them there. Um, you first you want to go and you want to copy the URL to the website that you want to use. Um, and this one, uh, your free car insurance. We make sure I don't have that one. Okay, I don't have that one in there, so there's no sense to put another one in if it's there already. Then you copy, you paste it, you click next. Okay, it seems like it found the feed and found the RSS feed there, so it's getting ready to create it. Okay, and now once you've got your RSS feed, what you want to do is you want to copy that, and then you want to, you know, you want to copy it and paste it somewhere where you'll remember because you'll need to retrieve it later. Okay, we've done that. Okay, and here's some little little things if you want to check how many click-throughs or if you're using podcasts, you want to find out how many podcasts download, if you want to click more traffic, um, get more more tra more traffic as far as, as uh, tracking it. Okay. Now you've gone to, you see, Analyze, Optimize, Publicize. We're going to go to Optimize. Okay. And let's say, let's go to your feed. That's the first one. It tells you a little bit about it. This is the first post because this is a new site in here. Okay. But you'll go to your Smartcast if you're using RSS feeds. Um, Smart Feed, you'll click on here. We're going to kind of go through some of the services and I'm not you know the you can read about the explanation of what they do but the main thing with the RSS feed is you want to get as much publicity you want people to see it and you want to be able to monetize it so I'm just going to go through the process and generally I go in here on the um, methods okay you can even personalize your flare but right now I'm just going to go ahead and and just activate it I can come back and personalize it later. Okay. Uh, link splicer, that's another one. Okay, if you want to use like Delicious or any one of these, but you've got an account, then you'll put your information in there and you click activate. Um, I'm not going to put it on there for right now. Same thing with Photo Splicer. Okay, uh, if you got a Flickr, you want to put your Flickr you know, API or screen name and then you click you activate it. Okay, and geotag your field, your thing. And I'm going to go ahead and geotag this. Okay, and click Save It. And then Feed Burner Image, I'm going to put them with that. Okay, I just use the default that's on here. And I'll just leave it there and click Activate. You can, like I say, you can manipulate some things. If you want people to go to a different address, you can put a, you know, image title and put the different link address in there. I just use the the feed burner, so it comes back to my site. Okay. And here's this. Okay. Three. Okay. Okay, you click activate. Okay, now in this one, convert format burner. Okay, you'll notice it says important. We recommend not using this service if you use smart feed. Smart feed will override, you know, see here. So you don't necessarily use that. I, I won't, since I've already activated smart feed, I'm not going to activate this one. And in summary, burner, this tells a little bit about your feed.
and we click activate. Now we've pretty much covered um, as far as the optimization. Now to publicize. This is the next step you want to get. Headline animator. Yeah, you want something that's gonna gonna stand out. So I usually use this um, wrap along text if it's a long RSS feed, and you click activate. Okay, and you can also you know read more on as far as if you want to add it to MySpace and you can place it on your MySpace or blog or that type of thing. And then we have Buzz Boost. Okay, you know, I click on uh, in case somebody has a podcast uh, and display link in your field. Okay, email subscription. Yeah, this is if people want to get your email, you know, yeah, so I click that. Okay, and you can go to read all this and go into the different and some more information in regards to that. Click activate. And that's the ping shot. And if you want to show your feed count of how many people are subscribing to your feed, you can click on the feed count and that'll show, you know, and that can show to others. You know, and socialize here, publish if you want to, you know, put it onto social webs. Um, you can add your own Twitter account, and I happen to do that. So I'll click here. Okay, and Chicklet Choose It. I don't generally use this myself, um, but you can if you want to change the way the look of your, your, your feed is. And in the awareness API, I click that, allow external data to track. And create this, Creative Commons. Okay, you want this clicked as well. And use the default on it. Uh, the password protector, you can if you want for more security, if it's a secure site. And the no index, I do not use that because you want it indexed. You do want to have it. And there you've done it. You've um, created your feed. And remember, you copied it, and then you can paste it to where you need to later.